What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Corey Crow, and in this video, we're gonna talk about some things you guys might already know. You see what I did there? Some of you have, you guys might not. So let's talk about one extremely easy way to find NFT drops prior to the majority of the public knowing about them. This actually, this tip is pretty well known within the space. However, that being said, if you don't know about it, it is extremely easy entry to finding these other projects, which you may have not known about prior to knowing this one tool. It's free as well. And let's talk about that. Let's talk about some channel updates as well as some other projects I'm currently looking into and just the NFT market as a whole. Some really exciting things that are happening within the space. So without further ado, if you guys like NFT content, and if you like that sort of thing, then go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Consider it at least while you're down there, press the like button. It's completely free. This content is for you guys. I love to do it for you guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video now. All right, so before we get to the very first free tool of which you guys can use, everyone can use, it's completely public and free. There's a paid version as well for finding NFT drops, what's minting, how to find them, what's currently trending on OpenSea for the Ethereum platform, and other things of that nature. I wanna give you guys a quick little disclaimer that anything I say here is completely my own interest, my words, not financial advice, so do your own research prior to making any sort of investments within this space. That being said, this space is really exciting, and I know that it completely hooked me from the moment I made my very first investment and even prior to that. That being said, if you guys are completely new to crypto or the NFT space as a whole, this is a very early stage for you guys. I'm super excited for you guys to be here and part of this community with us. That is exactly what I believe the NFT space is all about. It's all about really strong communities. And I have one as well, not trying to shill my own thing, but while we're here on the topic of conversation, there's a link to my Discord in the channel below. Go ahead and hop in there, hang out with me and the crew, as well as growing pretty quickly. But the NFT space is growing really rapidly. Right now, we have a lot of different exciting news. Recently, we've had Adidas, you guys probably know about that brand, who's partnered with the Board 8 Yacht Club, really well-known brand, if not one of the more successful uh, projects out there. That is huge for this space. Uh, I think that's bringing a lot of awareness for fashion. There's the Hape Beast project, which is coming out in December of this year, which has got a massive amount of hype. I'm extremely excited about the project. I'm excited to see where that thing takes off. I'm trying to get on the Hape list or white list or one of those people to be able to mint one of these Hapes prior to the public sale. And a lot of other exciting news like Twitter is getting their blue verification check for NFT. So Twitter is taking acknowledgement of the NFT space and Coinbase as well, which is a, an exchange where you can actually go purchase crypto from is coming out with their own NFT platform. So some of these things you guys have already known about as well, but I had to make the announcement here on my channel. So really exciting stuff here coming to quarter four of 2021 and into the first quarter of 2022 some really exciting things are happening within this space already among a lot of other plethora a plethora of a lot of other exciting nft projects uh, that you will never hear about but you see the fomo you see the hype you see the open sea stats as well as all of the other kind of activities that are happening with these projects that you may have never heard about so there is one really exciting tool uh, something i use almost daily uh, there's a lot of tools out there some of which i'll just go ahead and mention off to you guys for discovering and seeing trending projects seeing whales or people of smart money which projects they're picking up on something like nansen or dune analytics or this one here is what we're talking about which is going to be IC tools IC tools is a free to use platform where you can discover trending uh different minting projects that you guys can find let's go ahead and hop into it now i'll actually show it to you so if you guys click on the website right now it brings you to uh, a couple different things you're going to see there's a trending tab at the top discover tab among other things and obviously you have that little blue banner that says hey you guys can pay 62 dollars a month to unlock real-time charts alerts tracking and more I'm highly recommending you guys take a look into some tool to make smarter investments with your money, something like IC Tools. No, this is not a sponsored video, but I do like to provide value to you guys. So if you guys don't know about IC.tools, that is gonna be the one place where I might recommend you guys start and then branch off from there. So let's go ahead and keep looking at this. So right now you guys can see that the trending collections start from the very top. It's gonna to show you a little icon or flavicon along the left, the project name, the floor, or what the lowest rate of that particular project is currently going for, and it's pretty real time. Um, the average sales price of those, the total volume or the total amount of sales, that's really important to know about. 
as well as these sales that are happening within a certain time frame. So you can see at the very top that you have an hour, two, 12 day, or even three day, which is a long time within the NFT space. Uh, so different time frames, a lot of numbers to look at, and even a seven day volume chart as well. Now that's for the trending, and you're gonna see that's a live thing. It kind of it shifts and moves. Uh, which is really cool to see what's currently trending right now, what people are actively buying within the last hour, two or 12, et cetera. So if you guys pop into the second chart, you're gonna see you know, within the last two hours or 12 hours, they change, they go up and down. So whatever kind of information you're looking for, that's a great starting point to take a look at. Now, if you wanna find something before people are looking to buy or before uh, OpenSea has seen that, OpenSea is a little bit laggy with that sense. OpenSea is the most popular uh, NFT trading platform right now for the Ethereum platform or space um, you guys can go to the discover tab discover tab over here you can connect you can kind of see what's what's coming out with the, the top mints or the the place where you can go buy these projects from prior to most people seeing them or or, or where you can go to the website and mint them so they can be transferred over to OpenSea. so right now they have the hour six twelve and day for the top mints uh, same thing you have the icons on the left the project name the total number of mints so the people who have actually purchased one for the least amount of money that you possibly can and then the all-time mints which is right next to it which is also important information to know about now the unique minters is really critical to know about that's actually the number of unique wallets or uh, special wallets or one of one wallets if you will so it's not one person purchasing all of them at the same exact time there's 53%, for example, is a unique minting amount. So 53% of those are individuals, not the exact same person purchasing multiple NFT projects. So that's really healthy actually to see. So if you see one where the unique men, uh, minters are like 10%, that, that's not very good. You want something of more like 50 to 100, for example, something where there's more variety of the mints as well. Um, which is pretty exciting to see. So you guys can go back to the six hour, you're gonna see that that changes quite a bit um, as well. Now, if you press on the top tab, the top collections, it does show you sort of a very similar uh, stat or chart to what you would see on OpenSea. Uh, the very top collection right now, we've got the Board Ape Yacht Club, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, some blue chips right there for you guys. You got Wolf Game, Doodles, Chain Runners, Journey Club, Official, and a whole lot of other cool, exciting projects. So if you guys wanna see kind of the top collections or what the most people are looking for as well, that's a pretty solid place to take a look at. You're gonna find some really cool art. Uh, typically on the top collections, their price per NFT is gonna be a little bit higher than what you'll see. But again, that's for you guys to, to, to find yourself. It's not always the case, but sometimes that's the case. Now, if you guys go over to the features, of the NFT tools, you're gonna to see a whole bunch of different information there, which kind of um, publicizes what you get if you purchase that monthly premium payment rate, uh, rate as well. Um, now they do give you an option for one month free, uh, which is pretty exciting. So take advantage of that if you guys want to. Um, the address book is currently closed, uh, which will show you the address books of who's, pi who's picking up these projects. Um, as well as favorite collections and alerts, which is pretty exciting. So that's a very, very popular tool to uh, go ahead and use, go ahead and check out. It's very easy to use. You can just kind of click on whichever information you want to find and it'll give you the real-time data or more or less real-time data of that exact information that you are looking for. So if you do not know about IC.tools, I will put a, a link to that in the description below. You go ahead and guys, check that out. Find these projects for yourself before they hit OpenSea. So hopefully you can pick up that maximum value with that project that you're currently looking at as well. Hopefully that was helpful for you. It was for me when I first found out about IC tools. So before we go any further, I did want to bring up to you guys that I do get a lot of daily emails. I get DMs all the time on Twitter, on Discord, on literally every platform that I'm on. Uh, email is actually most popular where I have individuals who are looking for publication or some more notice uh, for, or for me to pr promote their projects, which a lot of YouTubers get, a lot of influencer, influencers, if you will, get these, which I actually love that I get them because I'm interested in sharing these projects with you guys, not on a shilling basis, but more along the lines of the projects that I am actually currently looking into and I might think that you guys would like them as well. So I think it's really healthy for the space too. So the, for NFTs, for me, and a lot of other people I know, community is king for a lot of folks. And I think 
part of bringing up awareness for these projects that may have never been heard about or had the chance to, to, to have this platform where people can publicize their work is really healthy for, for not only that project, for you guys, the audience, if you guys like that or if you kind of vibe with that particular art style or, or the team behind it or whatever it really might be. And, and, and as well, it's just sort of it's sort of this win-win, if you will, for a lot of people. So I think that's something that I'm going to start doing moving forward. I think you guys are going to really like some of these projects that I'm currently seeing. I get a lot of them, which is really exciting. So I want to bring some of the awareness to these projects that I'm going to be personally looking into. And that is going to be the end of that with regards to uh, the shilling aspect of it. You guys want to see like a shill it Saturday kind of conversation? I would be happy to have that with you guys as well. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys would like to hear. If I just post about absolutely every weekly email that I get on like a shill it Saturday or whatever it might be, shill zone Saturday, do like some sort of cool title for it, of course. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to do it with you guys. Maybe that's a great way for you guys to find even different projects outside of the IC tool conversation, which is the tool we're going to be talking about here today as well. So there's a lot of really unique things be, to unpack behind that. So that's something I'm currently looking into as well. Um, I really like the idea of building up community, bringing awareness to these projects that you may have not already known about. And hopefully you might dig it as well. If not, you guys can totally shame me and let me know in the comments below. I'm okay with that. Oh, one quick thing before we go any further, uh, a little safety tip here for you guys. If you guys are new to the NFT space, um, there's a lot of hype or FOMO uh, or a lot of people hop, you know, hopping on the band train, if you will, about these different kinds of projects where the project will be really exciting. The, the, you'll just see the volume spiking and it's really exciting, especially if you hop in their Discord channel. Everyone's like saying diamond hands, hold on to it for forever. It's 10th floor example. Uh, be careful of projects that uh, are, are derivatives of one that you have seen over and over again. So something that's trending, for example, right now is gaming, gamification or tokenization. Uh, you have staking as well. So, so these certain games like Wolf Game, for example, you have a lot of different derivatives of Wolf Game uh, as well, where you can stake your wolves, so you can earn wool from it, etc. So there's there's uh, there's Will Game right now. There's a whole bunch of other projects like Defenders of Dogewood, Wizard and Dragon Game, right there at the top as well. You have uh, what, what was the other one we just we just saw Gold Hunt, which is another derivative. So a lot of these derivatives, I'm pretty confident. Bear Game as well is another one. Um, anything game right now is going to be one of those sort of they, they formulate the template behind what the initial project was, which is Wolf Game, and they might even use the exact same template, so it might have the same flaws, but maybe they'll twist it a little bit to make it their own. So something to be very careful of uh, moving into this space as you guys see all these exciting games. Um, I'm a big gamer as well, is just to know that these projects are not entirely unique. Um, Obviously, they came from the very first Wolf game, if you will. Some people will believe that's the first one. I, I, I kind of do as well. Um, so something to know that those get really exciting, but then they drop almost faster than they got excited. So just be careful moving forward into these derivative games that you guys have seen where it's sort of like a copy and paste situation. Uh, you might see a lot of hype, a lot of FOMO, and just don't be the one hanging on to your bag at the very top of that where you purchase it for 10 ETH and now it's down to like 0 0.005. So something to be aware of. Do your research. Follow the trends, not always to the end. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Just, well, just a little forewarning for you. Hopefully that was helpful. All right, folks. So if you guys like that kind of content, if you guys like the stuff you heard, uh, free tool, some different projects, some different changes uh, of the platform here on YouTube. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you guys would like me to talk about some of these projects that I'm getting emailed about daily. I would be happy to bring some of those to your uh, attention if you would like that sort of thing. Uh, really, anything moving forward into the NFT space, there's a lot of exciting options that are coming up. I cannot wait to share with you guys some of these things that are happening. Uh, it's a really exciting time for us. I am more stoked than ever for not only you guys, but also myself moving forward into this space and into 2022. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and end this thing. Let's go ahead and hop into the next video. I got to start planning. I'm going actually to a trip here in the next couple hours. So I'll be out of pocket. But that being said, I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video and in the general chat. Y'all take care. See you guys.